Hey guys, it's AskCryptoData here. In this video, I'm going to share with you why I think Ponke can hit 1 billion or probably few billions. It can go as high as uh, Pepe did because it does have something unique. Not many meme coins at high, big scale got that feature. And huge community, the media, video memes start trending everywhere. Ponke is a token that I've always seen it growing, having more hype, organic hype. Like I haven't seen it much getting shell around but does have a huge, very strong community which grew organically because of the videos. The Instagram videos were crazy. Uh, they have millions of views. This is where the trend picked up and now they are sitting at 265 million market cap. I've shared in my this video, uh, top meme coins for July. If you haven't seen that video, go watch that. Uh, Ponke was sitting right here and now it is sitting up much higher than that not too much but yeah the thing is when the, the coin is grown a lot more the risk gets lower and the reward gets lower as well so if you want to get i mean something if you want to get like 1000x then you need to look down here when the coin is just launching and it's sitting at this range when no one is buying it right now ponke is around up uh 30, 30% plus, 35% since my last video. So it's not that bad. Um, Ponke, when he, when he first pumped, it pumped a lot, I think. Uh, yeah, it, it did, it did pump quite a bit. Then after that, it dropped a lot. Anything that I've seen picks up a lot of hype in the start, it struggles afterwards. And it dropped almost 90%. Almost 90% drop. And then it goes for new high, then drops a lot, then goes. This is a common pattern and it takes time because this is where the strong diamond hands are building up. They hold and a lot of people and next wave, they will they will think that it will go down again. It might just keep going down. They sell it. The ones holding it will get rewarded. It's, it's a very tiring cycle and a lot of patience required if you want a diamond hand till here. It's very hard. It's very hard to do. You don't know because there's too, too many meme coins launching every second. You don't know which one is going to make it. So you sell one when it's in consolidation and uh, in testing your patience. And then you see it going up. That's what happened with most of the meme coins that go up. 99% of the people just sell and move on to next one. And another example is uh, when I shared why I think Punkit does have a potential on the other video. You can go watch that. Um, this was a very typical pattern that I look when I take trades. Uh, is a lot of people think it broke down. They start selling it. The volume start picking up and then it starts going up and it looks very strong right now to me with the run and it's holding comparing to here. It had 80% drop. I'm pretty sure this drop is a lot less. And, uh, and one more, the biggest key is it's a deflationary token. Uh, it's 55%. The drop is getting smaller means there's more demand with this. I've been looking on uh, the Moonstar is, is a reputable source in crypto.com. There's an article that it says gradually if the supply of Ponke is getting reduced. This is why it's keep going up. This is why there's more demand about it. And potentially there's scarcity that's going to increase the less supply, more demand. This is what making Ponke special. On top of that, they have videos. There's a lot of small, small thing that's making it special, especially when the supply is getting reduced. Everyone is mostly bullish and the community is strong at the same time. This is why it's helping Ponke to keep going up gradually. And, and I think it's not far. It's only 4x away to hit 1 billion and very likely to happen the way the rest of the market is right now crashing. But Ponke is moving up very nicely gradually. Uh, if you're not following my social medias, uh, do subscribe to the channel. I'm going to bring a lot of content for you guys and uh, follow my social media. I do give trades and setups when I think something looks good. Um, I do share it. Let's check out the website and see what they have in the website. The website is very nice, clean. Uh, I like it. I really wanted more information on the website. There's not too much information on the website in my opinion. Uh, greedy son of a bitch. Uh, total supply is this. Token address you have. You know, you have the basic information and the Instagram is what, you know, made this so huge what it is right now. <laughs> they have too many memes. Very nice, interesting memes. It's just like a paper, but in brown. Uh, but yeah, <sighs> memes do drive the price high because a lot of people posting memes and people just recognize it. it the memory triggers, they have a lot of followers, 342k. Um, but yeah. If you're not following me on social media, make sure you do subscribe as well. Uh, more content coming soon. 
uh, but I think there's a lot of potential and very soon we can see it hit. Uh, the thing is it does not need a, another 750 million to hit that. Uh, Binance, Binance haven't listed it yet so there's still a lot of potential in my opinion if, if they're talking to Binance and the Binance plans to list it I think the upside is is big for it so let's just wait and see what happens I'm pretty sure um, if the bull runs keeps going by end of the year I think we can hit 1 billion uh, this is what happened with Brett I missed it I saw it very early in these ranges or under 100 million it kept on going I was and when I looked after a month or so I was surprised that it hit 1 billion plus so I think Ponke does have the same potential to do that uh, if you're still thinking wait for a pullback and start DCing in that but only risk what you can afford to lose when it comes to meme coins or anything like that yes there's huge potential of upside yeah you can go downside as well so have a good day guys and I'll catch you in next video bye